We're going to take percolation test measurements and apply a spreadsheet calculation tool to estimate the hydraulic conductivity of the soil. This simple test might prove useful when other apparatus is unavailable or when very localised information is limited or incomplete. The spreadsheet can be downloaded from the percolation test page of the LID planning and design wiki. It's been conveniently formatted as a form for printing and later we will return to use its built-in calculation functions. When the results are to be used in the design of an infiltrating stormwater practice, the test should be conducted in the base of an excavated pit. This is so that the test assesses the soil, which will one day be directly beneath the practice. But today we're demonstrating the method at ground level. It is important that the hole used for this test is circular, flat-bottomed and straight-sided. This can easily be accomplished with an auger, or may be carefully dug out with a shovel. Brushing or otherwise roughing the inside of the hole is important to remove the smeared surfaces, which may prevent water from infiltrating. And placing a few centimetres of clean coarse gravel in the base of the hole can help to prevent the base from being disturbed during the test. Although this test can be performed on holes of any size, it's important that we record the radius as we will need it for the calculations later on. We will use this ruler to measure the depth of water within the hole. If the soil is sandy or the hole is at risk of collapsing, a perforated paper liner may be used and an external support should be provided for the ruler to reduce the risk of it falling or damaging the edges of the hole. Before we can make any test measurements, the soil within the hole needs to be saturated. So fill the hole with water, make a note of the time and return some time later. Be sure not to abandon the test site long enough for the hole to dry out. Now we are ready to make test measurements. The hole is filled with water once again, the depth recorded, and the timer is started. Multiple measurements may be taken as the water level drops. It's often easiest to take measurements at fixed time intervals, or you may prefer to record the time at specific depths. It doesn't matter. It's also possible to refill the hole and add these records to the same sheet. The calculation requires that the time be entered as decimal minutes, where 0.1 minutes is 6 seconds, but it's not necessary to make this conversion whilst in the field. Back at the office, we can use the spreadsheet to perform the conversion between the percolation test results and the hydraulic conductivity of the soil. We hope that you found this useful. There are more complex and accurate ways of measuring the hydraulic conductivity of soils. If you wish to find out more, you can visit our website at sustainabletechnologies.ca.